everyone and welcome to my review of the PGY Tech Mavic 2 ND filters. For those of you who don't know, a simple explanation on what ND filters are. They're sort of like sunglasses for your Mavic. They allow you to have longer exposure times when there's a lot of light, so you can keep the cinematic shutter of 1 over 50 or take long exposure photos even in broad daylight. I'll keep this review short and objective, there are only two things that interest me. Do the filters work, or in other words, do they correctly stop down the exposure? And the second thing, how much or do they even degrade my image quality? To get it out of the way, yes, they're worth the money and they work like they're supposed to. Link to buy them is in the description. I have this PGY Tech Pack of 4 filters with filter factor numbers of 8, 16, 32 and 64, which stop down my exposure by 3, 4, 5 and 6 stops respectively. This means that with the starting settings of ISO 400, shutter speed of 1 over 50 and f2.8, I should get the exposure reduction equivalent to ISO 400 but with f8, f11 and then keeping the f11 and stopping down to ISO 200 and 100. And that's exactly how I tested these to see how correctly they reduce the light. I've taken a picture with the same frame with ND filters, but I've compensated the brightness values with f-stop values. Since there's a stop of light difference between each filter factor number, I started with ND64 and f2.8 and ended up with ND8 with f11. I should also mention that every shot was taken at the exact same white balance settings and as you can see, every photo is exactly the same color-wise, which means that these filters were really manufactured correctly since there's no color deviation between them. We can see that there's no difference between the filters and that they work exactly like they're supposed to. Each image is exposed perfectly, which means that the filters are stopping down the brightness exactly one stop. Then I've taken a video clip with every ND filter on the camera and I've also taken a clip without the filter, but compensated for the brightness increase with a shutter speed so that I don't impact my sharpness by changing the f-stop or the ISO. Every shot was taken in 4K high quality in 10-bit D-Log M on purpose so that I have that digital zoom when shooting high quality compared to full FOV to better see the details. Here you are seeing all the shots I've taken with no adjustments whatsoever except for the official D-Log M to Rec 709 LUT. No white balance correction either. Then I've also zoomed in the shots to 200% scale in Premiere and I saw that there's no difference with or without the filter. Really amazing result and props to PGY Tech for this. And finally what interests me was the lens flare. Cheap and low quality filters tend to introduce a lot of double flaring or ugly flaring in general. This happens when the filters are made out of cheap glass which refracts a lot of light. And what I saw quite delighted me. I saw no flare difference with or without the filters. And there you go, that's my review. The filters completed my expectations. They are a bit expensive, but if you want that smooth shutter speed during daytime, I'd really recommend buying these. If you don't want to buy all of them, I'd recommend buying just the ND64 one. It's better to have less light in some situations and then lift your ISO than having too much light on a bright sunny day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.